This is the Primo Dirt Podcast. The Primo Dirt Podcast. With? We got the Miranda Brothers, Danny and Steve. Who do? Johnny Peace. We got the Creator, Dave Persley. And Big Game James is on the tech. And chilling. So we're talking about comedians and the new special, the new Bo Burnham. Is that how you say it? Burnham. Special. Burnham. Burnham. And uh, yeah, it was good. But how, how many people here saw it? I'm saving it. John saw a piece of it. Yeah, it was funny. <clears throat> I got like five it's, minutes. Um, so Bo Burnham's been around since like YouTube started to come around. That's how he got, got discovered. Really yeah, funny I think songs. Like, since like 16, he was like, yeah. on YouTube. Funny content, great comedian. Songs. Mostly songs, just just funny songs. But they're actually get stuck in your head, like the melodies. Yeah. Do You do still have that in this special, but don't let don't go into it thinking it's like his old stuff. Because no. it is nothing. Or go into it thinking it's like the old stuff and be surprised. Be surprised. Yeah. Pleasantly be surprised. pleasantly surprised. Well, I haven't watched anything from him. Okay. Okay. So besides this one, you saw this it, one, yeah, but not. Previous. Yeah. It was. It was interesting to say the least. It was kind of dark. He's very talented. Yeah. It, he, he gives a shout out the sock puppet and <laughs> to his favorite comedian. <laughs> yeah. He does a Tuvin. tribute to T to yeah to Hans Tiovin. Hans yeah. Tiovin. Hans. Hans. Yeah. He, he Look does? up him too. He know. sings a song How out of the that? sock puppet. He sings a song in the special, and it's been stuck in my head for days, and it's called White Woman's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and throughout the song, he's he's recreating all the different yes. poses from White Women's Instagrams. Like, he just puts, like, the big sucker in front of his mouth and looks that way and just everything. And, but everything the lyrics a, are so Everything that a quote-unquote white woman <laughs> well, puts on her Instagram. So there's a lot of meaning in it, too, um, which was when, when she was talking about superficial stuff, the the um, the ratio of, of the of the camera – was Instagram, and then when she started talking about more deep stuff, it would go wide frame. Like she starts talking about her mother. Yeah, yeah it went yeah. wide frame, and then when she went got shallow again, it went back to Instagram. Yeah, exactly. Oh, awesome. It went like angles, Ratio, yeah. real close up angles, and but yeah, everything he does a, a thing about uh, brand awareness. How he's making fun of like the companies that use social justice change for brand awareness. Yeah. He's like, he's like, no longer asking, do you want to eat wheat thins? Now we're asking, do you want to partner with wheat thin with wheat thins? Against the fight against Lyme disease, you know, like stupid shit yeah. like that. That's awesome. <laughs> he well, makes fun of everything in a and, way. And to ruin yeah. something, he turns thirty on there, and, um, at the at while he's recording for one of his videos. Oh, in the Jeff Bezos song, he does a quick yeah. song about Jeff Bezos. Yeah, it's like this funny. '80s sync. <laughs> it's just really quick. It's the funniest fucking song. Yeah. He's like he's like Mark Bay. Yeah, we say like Zuckerberg and all those Yikes. other guys can suck it, you know. That's Fuck awesome. your wives and he's like, go get them, Jeff. But he does like a guitar synth solo and stuff. It's well, a whole song about Jeff Bezos. It's hilarious though. He's young and he's not married in this, and he has one joke that it just fits my life, and I'm so mad he has it. But he says, uh, my <laughs> wife has this fetish. Where she dresses up like herself and then acts like a bitch. <laughs> and, and I think, oh, my God, I just, I've already used it. I used it. I, if I get a chance, I, I give credit. But otherwise, it's just in a. You've used it in your own way. Yeah, in my own way. Like, actually, I deserve like the joke. joke. Yeah. I deserve the joke. Because, yeah. you know. He was eavesdropping one day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He wrote but, that joke for me. The good thing about the special, though, it also talks about like depression, suicidal thoughts, mental where mental health. It talks about all that stuff in a way that's funny, mm. but also just like makes you think if you've ever been in that situation. It's it's a good special. Just you got to watch it. It's it'll, it's life changing. It was so, but the music's really good in it too. Though it's funny. I've he's seen. actually singing good in there too. Like in the in his past ones, he's doing like the goofy comedian singing, going oh, you know like yeah. Uh, and the, this one, he's actually singing like a really good singer. Yeah, and his faces, the yeah. facial reactions he has to the whole thing are hilarious. It, it's awesome to see somebody, a budding comedian like this, just flourish right in front of us. And in a mm -hmm. sense, we might be seeing an icon. We're seeing a George Carlin at a young age. In my, in my opinion, mm -hmm. this is the greatest comedic special I've ever seen. Really? It beats out Chappelle? Mm-hmm. Because, man, like, Chappelle well, just, well, yeah, Most comedic specials are just yeah. stand-up comedy, and they're funny, and they're great. Yeah. In my mind, this is like... Like art, this art wise, it's the best thing I've ever I think seen. Yeah, it's a different category. This, yeah, yeah. It sort of transcends category. what it is. Yeah, so it's art. not just a, a stand up comedy special. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, he's not, he's not, he's not like, uh, you can't box him into as as a stand up comic. Exactly. It's more of he creates an experience in the same way like Ricky Gervais and like his TV shows. Mm -hmm. They can be happy, they can be sad. Like he'll go through all the emotions. Mm -hmm. You can't do that with stand up. Yeah. But with what he's doing, it's he he he, he takes you on a journey. 
and it's a visionary experience too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of sad sometimes, but the, the, you don't. You're not like, oh, that's weird. It's sad now. I know a lot it's of. It's a haters, production. It's a big production. Yeah, it and is. I know a lot of haters tried to say he didn't go through the grind of doing the comedy stand up routines and flying mm -hmm. to all these different things. No, he did. And he said, no, he he didn't. He didn't come up like that. He oh, he didn't get YouTube. famous like that. Yeah. But he um he also had to deal with the internet. So if you think he never got heckled or was talked shit about, the internet is just a bunch of people. They're not face to face. You're in a room with yep. people when you're on the grind, and you and so you got to have a set of balls. But you got you don't have to have any balls to talk shit on the internet. But all his stuff mm -hmm. is yeah. all his stuff is pretty funny though. I mean, who's talking shit about him? You know, oh, no, you'd be surprised. I'm sure there. I'm sure there. Yeah, they talk shit about everything. But yeah, I mean, and like, there's a lot of people. And who if, don't you know, if you know something's good, you know something's but good. But what? A, what? Was if a million his... people are saying something's good and five are like, "You suck." They, but they what suck. was his early yeah, stuff? Course. Like his very beginnings. I'm sure you know people. He had some haters. Like he has a yeah. But no, all fun stuff. So has haters. He has people that. Like, so, so you're I saying saw, he I saw a video when he was like 17. Yeah, Park in my opinion, yeah. Beginning. I saw okay. videos when he was like 17, 18 years old. A song called like High School Party, and he walks in. It's like a high school party, and the whole thing is fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. It made me laugh hysterically. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think he had a, a. I think he had an amazing talent at a very young age. I think he's a genius. I think I want to see what his IQ is tested at because I think he's a genius in my okay. opinion. I think yeah. we found Danny's new bromance. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> after like watching after watching guys. that special, I think so. I think he's out of your league. <laughs> he's out of my league. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm more of a David stick Tell with, guy. Yeah, stick with Norm McDonald. That <laughs> Norm was your McDonald old, David old Tell. romance, you know. <laughs> Norm McDonald's still up there. <laughs> Tom Segura. Yeah, I, that, that's a good. Uh, you had a wanted to talk about comedian lists. Who are, who are your favorites? I'm gonna my have favorites. to say Patrice O'Neill is one of my favorites. Yeah, Patrice Love him. Uh, Gervais. I wish he was alive. He'd be battling this cancel uh, cancel culture like a bullshit. motherfucker. Yeah. He would do it good though. He would yeah, do it really he, well. He'd lead the charge. Nobody's leading the charge. Does, does Burnham have a uh, cancel cancelable are. stuff? Yeah. Or? No, uh, uh, well, that's he does a funny he song about that. He has a song that. about it. Yeah, he has a song. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I dressed up like Aladdin when I was nine for Halloween. He's like, I didn't darken my skin, but it still feels awkward. It's super <laughs> funny. <laughs> he does a whole song about it about cancel. Yeah, good for him. He good. talks about social justice warrior Nazis, like how they take it too far. He, he does. I'm telling you, his lyrics are amazing. Wow. Good for him. You got to watch it, John. You watch. I'm telling you, five minutes in, you'll be like, "All right, now I get it." I see. Yeah, why I was waiting until after the podcast. I didn't want to. <laughs> you don't want to be wanna prepared. You don't want to be prepared. I yeah. don't want to be tainted. Yeah, I just want to see what you guys thought first before I go in. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of depth and layers in there. Like you can you can dissect it forever. Yeah. When he does the reaction video about himself yeah. reacting to his own, and he just keeps yeah. reacting different things. Yeah. Okay, now I'm watching a reaction video. How are you reacting to yeah. the? It was like in, he had Inception moments. It was like Inception. Comedy, <laughs> it was an Inception was reaction video. He sang a funny song and then he reacted to it, and then he reacted to the reaction video, and then he was reacting to the reaction of the reaction video. Yeah. But that. it kept popping in three different squares, and it was just genius the, the way he did it. Infinite reaction. The infinite, yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, this guy, really this good. guy, he worked hard. Yeah, on and this then he's one. and he's like, "There's me being pretentious, acting like I knew what my video was about." And and the, <laughs> it was a great spot. He's critiquing yeah, his reaction. Dude, and, and now we well, it was it wasn't. I didn't have an idea as great as that, but I wanted us to react to our own reaction videos. Yeah. yeah. And and he and took it. A few he steps he took it so far. We can't. We can't even anything. do the first or second level of it without well, without we saying we're copying near him. Genius. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been as good, but we could still could have done it. Oh, first. and then the streaming when he did the streaming guy, where he's play where he's like a, a streamer. He's like, all right, this is a new game. I've never played yes. it. Yeah. And it's just yeah. it's just him in a room. He's like, press A to cry. cry. And he just starts crying. He's like, all right, all right. So, and, and the whole time, he's acting like a real streamer. He's like, hey, Ricky, thanks for the subs. We appreciate it, buddy. And just so you know, I'm going to be gifting 30 subs at the end of the month. I mean, it was dead on, like, a, the way a streamer talks and everything. It was That's so awesome. funny. But it was just him yeah. walking around a room. Yeah, like yeah. play piano. I'm going to check in the drawer. <laughs> Do you think he took all the jokes and left none for everybody now? Is that what's going uh, on? I, I, know, I think he took a fucking dude. asshole. I think bro. he took a lot. Know, he took a lot. He took a lot. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be writing stuff later down the road, and like this is funny. He 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 did it he somehow, did it, yeah. <laughs> or he will. He knows. Yeah. And he spent a whole year recording for 40 minutes of content. I bet you there was a no, lot. It's like that an hour and cutting. a half. No, it's I, long. I watched it. It's an hour and a half. I sure is an hour and a half. Positive. It's an hour because and a half. he starts it off saying this 40 minutes is essential. Yeah, I think he's just talking about the first 40 minutes. 
I don't know, but I'm, I'm telling you because if you look it up right now on Netflix and you he did it for the, the year for the pandemic. Yeah, but he spent a whole wh- whether it was 40 minutes or an hour and a half, he spent an entire year recording that. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of stuff hit the cutting room floor, and I wonder what oh, hit I'm the sure. cutting room floor. I'm sure, oh, yeah. for sure, yeah. it'll be in the next special. But everything in it is gold. I'm telling you right now, you wow. will enjoy it from beginning to end. Gonna watch it, and if it you guys good. have watched it, leave a comment. Tell us about it. What you think? Who's your favorite comedian? What Man. are your theories about the special? Anything you notice that we didn't notice? Yeah. I'm sure there's something. The altar she supposed, and on it was Hector. Is the throne empty? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed? Off with his head. You got me going in circles.